Hi and welcome to today's video. Today is a very interesting video because I found this super cool Dom's painting kit for an unbelievable price and it has a ton of things inside it. So let's unbox and see what this is. So this is the Dom's painting kit and it has about 10 products. The 10th one is hidden over here behind the sticker. So I'll remove it and I'll see what's inside. And I got this for just about INR 199. So um, I'm quite excited to see what is there inside it and what are the things which are there. Are they similar to what I have unboxed earlier or is it completely different and new things compared to what I've done before. So I just want to see what's the 10th one written over here and then we'll anyway unbox it and then we'll see what's inside. Um, I don't know if there are 10 things or just 9 things because I think it just says sharp mind. So it has 9 things. Um, so let's unbox this. I'll tell you first what are the 9 things. There is a drawing book which has 32 pages and it is um, 1 in number. Then there is a color pencil pack. It has 6 pencils which are bicolor. Oil pencil pack that's awesome. 12 shades. Watercolor cake pack. This is interesting. Wax crayon pack. Watercolor pens. This I'm really I'm excited to try out. Glitter pack, pencils and eraser sharpener. So I'm going to unbox this. They have this mark over here where you can use to cut through your scissors. Dom's always comes up with very interesting things. So I'm excited to see how their package combo pack would be. I've so far tried out only their individual things. So time to unbox. It has this closure here, so you can even put back your things inside this and reuse. So the first thing we have over here is the Dom's eraser. This looks like a sharpener to me, but it says eraser. Oh, it's a two-in-one. So I'm going to quickly unbox this. We'll try out each of the products one by one. This is the sharpener eraser, which you can sharpen your pencil from the bottom and the eraser is over here at the top. This is a very interesting one, two in one, especially for travel. I think I'm definitely going to use this in my kit. So I don't need to carry like two separate things and plus the shavings are inside this. So, you know, it's quite um, useful that way and you can just open it out, throw it when you find a bill. So let's see what's our second product. Our second one is um, this. These are the Dom's bicolor pencils. So this has about three. I'll just unpack this and we'll see what the colors are. Here it is. I will be creating swatches of all of this and we'll also be creating an interesting art with all of the supplies that we find inside this box today. This is a very nice touch. This is not watercolor pencils. These are your regular color pencils. Um, it's a super soft over here. So I think this is going to be pretty um, nice to use. Let's move on now to the next item. Inside. Oh, these are so cute. These are Dom's glitter. So I have never used something like this before. So I'm quite excited to try out. So this is the silver color. It's 5.5 ml. This is the gold glitter. And this is like a nice interesting blue glitter. How do we use this? Okay, so this is how it is. You could apply like a little bit of fevicol at the bottom and then you can just apply glitter on top of it using this. Um, we'll see if it al already has like some glue inside. <laughs> so this is how um, the glue is. It's pretty glittery. I don't know if this will stick directly. I'm just going to wipe it off for now. And then um, <laughs> glitter. I've never really used glitter but I'm, going I'm excited to try this out today. Going on now to the next item inside. Oh, uh, this is amazing. Uh, if you have seen, I think the most popular video in my channel is the uh, 36 color Dom's cake um, review and unboxing that I have done. 
and uh, it's been useful for so many of you guys a lot of you guys have left comments on how interesting it was for you and how you were very happy with it and you ended up buying your own packs after that especially for like beginners um i think it's absolutely perfect so this one here it is about 12 colors and it also comes with a brush um it looks really nice it's the similar colors from the earlier set of the 36 um they just have i think like the main colors inside it i really like their packaging and you can use this as a palette you can see how bright the colors are they have a nice interesting small round brush okay now moving on to the next one and this is their 12 color oil pastels with a free one scraping tool oh and this is nice <laughs> let's see so the scraping tool will help you to either remove the colors create texture and do a lot of interesting things with it so you can see it has like textures on all these different sides here it has a scraper like this here it's straight here it has a little bit of um like a mountain thing and here it has some more grooves so this is a nice one we will unbox and we'll do swatches of this and we'll create something with it as well moving on to the next item is the watercolor pens so i'm very excited to try this um these watercolor pens so they're, they're, these have about um 12 shades and i think i have done the uh, review of the bigger size in this but these are so small and so handy or i may have done of this also there are so many doms products that i keep getting confused what i have reviewed and what i haven't but i love most of their products all of their products so far in fact have been amazing the next is their pencil. Oh, this does not have the word <laughs> DOMS written on it. So it, that's interesting. Um, and it has a nice cap. It's a little tight, but it's good. I really like products with caps because when you carry them in your bags, normally the tip tend to break if it hits somewhere. And I, I find it very inconvenient. So I really like the caps. We still have more things inside. The next one is this super cute wax crayons of 12 colors. Such a cute set. You can also buy these things individually, um, but I think this is a perfect starter kit if, if you're like looking to get somebody um, a nice interesting gift for their birthday parties or you know if you're looking for return gifts for birthday parties or any events for kids um, or anybody who's like enthusiastic about art and just wants to kick start. I have the last product over here, which is their drawing book. This is so cute. Um, it's perfect for us to use all of these things. So even the watercolors I'm going to use on this. So um, I'm just going to like put together everything right now. Before that, let me show you what the drawing book looks like. The sheet is nice. It's thick. The colors are good. And they also have like very interesting tips written inside. So let's put together all the things that we found inside this box. So here are all of the things which are inside this box, uh, which is inside this painting kit. They have their sketchbook, they have their watercolor pens, um, sorry, they have their watercolor pens here, they have their wax crayons, they have glitter pens. They have the watercolor cakes, the pencil, the eraser, there are the oil pastels and the color pencils. It's one of the perfect, I think, um, sets for you to start off with. So the first thing I'm going to do right now is start unboxing them individually and we'll start creating something. All right, so let's begin one by one. The first thing that I'm going to do is use my pencil. This is their pencil. So I'm going to just zoom in and show you how this pencil writes. It's nice. It is um, number two HP. So it's very good. It's little darker than your HP and it is very soft. I have to figure out if there's a way to get these pencils individually because it's so nice to hold really good lightweight and it just flows. Uh, the quality is pretty good. I'm quite amazed actually at this. It does not give you the feeling of a gra um, uh, the, you know hard graphite, 
where a lot of these uh, pencils sometimes if they are hb or lower they're really difficult to use but this does not give that kind of a feeling and it's really nice that way so i would definitely give a thumbs up for this pencil i'm going to try and sharpen this <laughs> this is i think my favorite um art um supply accessory so far and my eraser this is perfect this is going to be part of my travel kit from now okay so the next thing i'm going to unbox is their wax crayons so the wax crayons here are really tiny <laughs> it's mini so individually i think you can get this for 10 rupees um so even if you like don't want the entire kit i will also tell you like individual prices of all of these products so if you want to get them um just those specific ones you can always do that i'm going to see if there's a price on this drawing book and yes this is for 35 um this is really good i like so far how the pencil works on it normally i mean you would judge it by uh, just how the pencil flows on it because sometimes if the pencil flow is not good uh, it's not a good sketchbook to get So wax crayons. I have tried out their um, Dom's wax crayons, which is the jumbo size, and uh, um, it, it was really nice. So if you want, you can. I will also link up the uh, video of that in the description box over here, so you can go and have a look at detailed video of that. I'm going to do a quick one right now. These are so tiny and cute. So sometimes what the only fear that I have when they are like mini size is but it's easy for me to hold uh, sometimes i find it little hard to hold if it is too tiny like this one is little difficult to hold for me but i think um for a travel purpose this is good so i'm starting off with the pink so what i tend to do is i hold it like this like vertically because then you know horizontally is kind of hard for me to hold them or like at an angle This is when you want to do like quick filling of details. The colors are pretty good, vibrant and nice. And they also don't leave um a very bad dirty residue. I'm also going to try and see if it comes on my finger and you know almost close to nothing. So a lot of times wax crayons will leave like this um oily residue. So the colors are quite good. Like the black is pretty dark. Let me zoom in back and show you how it is. This is a darker blue. The brown. This is like a viridian hue or like a dark green but more like a viridian hue. This is the light green. and this is their red so for me this is little difficult to hold but i'm guessing for smaller kids it should be all right to use it shouldn't be that difficult um also i think because i have little like bigger hands so uh for starter kit i think it's perfect but if you're looking to like um do a lot of art with these then this is good to start off in the sense to figure out whether these colors are working for you or not working for you whether you like the texture just for testing out it is good and after that you can go ahead and get their uh, jumbo pack which is much much easier to um hold and use i'll just show you an example of it this is their jumbo set i had got it separately uh this is for 50 rupees the smaller one is for 10 the bigger one for 50 and this also comes with um free silver crayon and i will show you the size of the crayon inside so this is the difference in the size so let me take two so you can see the difference okay so this is super easy for me to hold like and just hold it at different angles and it doesn't hurt me and um i find it a little more comfortable to use this is really good for starting for trial if you're traveling you don't want to carry something heavy it's good for longer term i would definitely suggest this um jumbo set okay so um color wise texture wise usage quality a big thumbs up okay so i'm now moving on to the next one which is my oil pastels so this also has a scrapping tool 
so this is nice okay so what you have to do over here is once you open from one side you can just push it out from here so i like this kind of packaging it's done well so individually if you have to buy this it's for 40 rupees <laughs> it's paper so i just want to make sure that i don't end up tearing um this. oil pastels versus wax crayons so um there's a little bit of difference between both of them you would have seen my unboxing of the bigger oil pastel set of dons i will link that also in the description this is a smaller version of it again um the size is the same there's no difference in the size between both of them it's definitely um like you know it depends on if you're an oil pastel enthusiast or somebody who's attracted towards oil pastels then get this first and then get the next version this will definitely so like okay the difference also will be that the wax crayons has a little bit of wax this has a little bit of oil um in terms of you know how you bind the pigment together so this does not live leave like a lot of residue this definitely will and also you know when you stick two pages to one another this color will start coming off so you just need to be careful in terms of the maintenance but it is so smooth and soft i really like it You can just hear how the crayon is moving. Another interesting thing is the colors are so similar. If you see their oil pastel range and their wax crayons range, and I find it very nice. So the consistency is very good in terms of their pigments across different products. So even if you have to like mix and match the colors um, or different products in in your painting, you could do that. It's not like you know, it's not going to be like completely pastel shades versus earthy shades. That becomes very hard to handle. I was so impatient that I ended up showing you guys the swatches directly before showing you what individual oil pastel um, is going to look like so this is how their packaging is they also have the color shade on it and they have the color name on it but it's pretty easy to understand seeing just their uh, wrapping or this tiny bit sticking out so this is their wax crayons this is their oil pastels both of them are wonderful uh, we'll make We'll definitely like use all of it together. So some of the techniques, like some things that I will show you that you can do over here is you can create textures like this. You can use it in any style that you like. So this is a fun thing. You can have a lot of fun with oil pastels. Just let your imagination flow um, and use it the way you would like. Okay, so we are now moving on to the next thing, which is the color pencils. So this individually is going to cost you 60 rupees and there are going to be six pencils with two colors on uh, one color on each side of it. So like two colors in one pencil. So this is going to cost you 60 rupees, which I think is a good deal. So let's start out with their swatches. It's nice. It's a little hard, but maybe because it's new. But then you can see that the colors are flowing so smoothly. And it's very soft, this particular color. It was maybe the peach that was not very soft. So I'm still okay about that. Again, you can see the consistency of the colors across all of the different ones, wax crayons, oil pastels and color pencils. And the last color. I uh, find it 
handy to use. Each one of them looks like this, where on either side, so it's basically one pencil and half of it is filled with um, blue and the other half with red. You can see the oil pastels have started coming off in my hand. So they will come. That's how oil pastels are. So you'll need to get like a butter sheet or something to protect your artwork that you have done finally. Okay. And here's the last one in it, which is the brown and the black. Perfect. This it's a definite TS. I have reviewed their earlier one, which is of the 12 color, but it's a smaller set, not longer pencils like these. And I really like that. So um, I'll leave a, a link of that as well over here. All right, so we are now moving on to the next one, which is our glitter. So what I'm going to do right now first is I'm going to just try and add it as it is. And uh, I don't know if we need to use some kind of uh, glue to stick it or this itself will. This is so beautiful. So individually, um, this comes in a pack of three. This costed me, um, this is going to cost. So these three glitter pens, um, before I move on to creating some more, uh, these come in a pack like this and it costs about 20 rupees. And I think they're supposed to be used directly only. Um, I like, I, I think that's what is the <laughs> point of it. It has a content, maybe you have to wait for it to dry. So while we do the other things, hopefully this will dry soon and we can see how the colors are. Um, okay, so, oops, <laughs> my tube has come out, but I think it, I just need to like, yep. So you pull it out, okay? So if, if the same thing happens to yours, don't worry about it. You just have to screw it in and then you're done. So let's try out this color, which is the coat. This is very pretty. I'm quite happy to see this. But I'm going to be turning the page so the glitter is going to go away. I will um, anyway, we'll try it out on another page and see how it is. All right, so so far we have tried out a lot of their um, products which are inside this box. We tried out their pencil, the eraser, the sharpener, and then we did the wax crayons, we did the oil pastels, we did the color pencils, and also the glitter sticks. So the next we are moving on is uh, to the watercolor pens. I'm going to turn the page over um, and then we'll try it out on a fresh page. Oh, by the way, um, all of the other crayons and the colors which are there is very little which is seen through this, especially like you can see the pencils. Not much is seen through, so this is pretty good. Um, not bad. Okay, so these are the watercolor pens. And this is going to individually cost you 15 rupees, which is very low, um, uh, especially because it is um, watercolor pens. So let's unbox and try this. It has an interesting fluorescent. This is so tiny, <laughs> so cute and small. So let me zoom in and show you guys watches. So I'm going to create the swatches first and then we'll take the brush from our watercolor cake set and we will check about the watercolor part of it. I've got my water ready with me. The colors are quite nice. They are vibrant. Uh, the pencil uh, or sorry, the sketch pen is tiny, but it's compact. It's easy to use, um, easy to handle. It's not too hard. I think because it's tall, so it's okay. All of these are so handy, especially if you're traveling, if you're somebody who likes to doodle on the go and then you carry your tiny sketchbook and you want to carry like a tiny um, pen set that you can use and create something. These are perfect, apart from being beginner friendly. Okay, so we have the last few colors. Oops. Black, we have the purple, and the fluorescent. <laughs> the fluorescent is really bright, you can see how it's popping out on the screen. So what I'm going to do right now is um, to try out whether it's really 
as it says, which is that watercolor pens. I'm going to use the brush. I'll pick this brush from the Dom's range. This is a round brush. The first time you get a brush, this is how it will be. The tip will be so sharp. It's because there's some glue to put it all together. All you need to do is this. You will dip it in water. And you notice it becomes normal. And it's useful. Okay, so let's now try this individually. What happens when you put water? Oh, this is amazing. For the price of 15 rupees, you're getting watercolor sketch pens, which I think is brilliant. So, um, what I'm going to do is I want to try out probably like a flower with these, like a petal. Maybe multiple petals. Okay. And let's see how the brush work helps. It's not doing anything over here though, unfortunately. Maybe some colors are better um, and some aren't. Like the purple was very good. The other thing that I'm going to try out is just add some water and we'll take this pen. It's okay. It's not the best, but um, to get a hang of what watercolor pens could be, um, I think it's brilliant because a lot of times there are um, very expensive art supplies out there and if you want to try out something new, you really have to think whether it's worth investing that money. So in that case, if you just want to understand or not to just know that there are products like this also available in the market, I think this is a good way to start off. But I cannot think of um, you know, any specific art work that I could do using this particular style as uh, sketch pens individually they are good but for being water solid it's a little okay in that way. Colors are really nice you can see again they've maintained good consistency. Now we come on to the last one which is the watercolor cake. So this is their 12 color cake set and I really like it. Uh, you know I'm a big fan of their 36 color one so I'm quite excited to try this one. So I'm going to now turn the book and we'll use a fresh page to add, try out all of these colors. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to start off with their green here. I'm going to bring it closer. Just dipping some water. You can see it's so creamy. I can add it here. Take some water. Make it a little liquidy if I need to. Use some water and just gradate it down. It's very nice. Moving on to the next one, which is their darker green. using water to gradate it down. So this is again not a watercolor paper but because it is part of the kit I want to use some these watercolor cakes on this paper only because if you're going to be giving it to somebody who's a beginner they again wouldn't know that they have to get separate sheets for watercolor. So uh, with just one layer we're going to try and see what we can create with the watercolor cakes today. I personally feel like watercolor is a very tricky medium and it takes time to understand the medium for its beauty because there are so many different styles you can create with it but initially it can be a little intimidating so what happens is a lot of people feel that they are not very good at watercolors and they just stop using it after that so um, if you are a beginner who are watching this video just know that it doesn't always have to do with you. Watercolor is tricky because it requires specialty papers and brushes and a lot of things, you know, surrounding it. And only then the art comes out as beautiful as the samples that you will see of a lot of artists online. Uh, but to begin, this is a very, very good kit to start off with because what it does is it gives you a little bit of confidence and understanding more than anything else on uh, the material 
and the properties and you can just do a lot of practice on it and experiment tons of things with it gives you an idea whether you are somebody who likes watercolors or it's not for you so with the dom's cakes what i have seen is um, it's a little creamy which is actually nice because uh, when you're a beginner you wouldn't know how to handle if a lot of pigment comes out or if, if it's like very light and then you don't know how much where to stop so it gets a little tricky that way like over here this is quite uh, dry but doms really helps to make it um, i think the pigments are really strong and nice the last two colors i'm not doing for the white but you can use it creatively in your way The next I think improvement I would want them to do is to have like a small section where I can put some water and also like a small section where they can have like a sponge or a cloth. So it becomes a perfect travel kit <laughs> because it has a palette also attached to it. So the black is so vibrant. Perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is um, we've done all the reviews of individual items, all the nine things that we have. Um, it's very good. Okay, so with the watercolor especially, let me show you what happens when you turn the sheet. There's very little. It does go through uh, because it is not uh, 300 GSM is what you require. I think this is probably like 80 or 100 GSM. Uh, maybe 120 at the most that's how sketchbooks or drawing books are generally so it's okay to start off with it's perfect because you're not going to be layering too many layers with terms of your watercolors and that's important if you do have this know that do not add a lot of um, layers and another tip is have maybe the colors in your palette um, exactly opposite like over here it's on top of the yellow so i think what if this is wet you know it'll go and drop and fall on it so i'm just going to like quickly wipe it off so the tip is have it like right opposite to it. So here I think I um, miscalculated it. So this green should have been over here. So it, it's just like a funny uh, small tip that will help you to keep your palettes clean. Okay, so individually I love all the items and I'm a big fan of Dom's anyway. So uh, their products are pretty good for the quality. Uh, and the price that they give in fact the quality is i think much better uh, compared to the price that they come for the price is very low so what we're going to do is we're going to try and use all of the elements and the art supplies over here and create a very cute little artwork right now so we're going to use our pencil we're going to draw something very cute i'm going to draw an apple you would have seen the other doms also had an apple so <laughs> we'll do an apple we'll probably do an orange We'll do some grapes, like a bunch. Okay. And each one will try and use a different medium. So this time I'm going to color uh, the orange with watercolors. Oops, I'm looking for my brush and found it. Uh, no, I think I'll use this grapes because I want to show you how you can use the different shades. So I'm just going to use some light green first. And using some water to gradate it first. We'll do an outline in the end with the watercolor um, sketch pens. Some dark green. So I'm using it indirectly, okay? So you can Oops, again, I did that mistake. <laughs> I should have done it there. It's a little too dark. So I'm just going to use some water and gradate it down. I'm doing a very, very basic um, sketch. Or like even a basic sketch, basic painting. Just to see how we can utilize all of the art supplies in this kit. I've never really done this before, use like so much of mixed media in one. Okay, so um, I'm done with this, which is our watercolors. 
and I'm now going to use for the orange I think we should use oil pastels such a beautiful vibrant color so I'm going to mix a couple of colors here okay so a little bit of yellow to like add like a highlight and use white to bring it together it will also require a little bit of darker shade because there's some shadow that's happening over there we'll add some texture you would have seen some texture in uh, and the orange fruit the leaves as well and some dark brown here okay. and to add texture we are going to use the scraping tool I'm just having fun with it I don't really have specific texture that I want to do in mind but I'm experimenting okay so now we will move on to using the wax crayons for our apple so we've used so at least two products for now um three if you include the pencil so the wax crayons for the apple I think the wax crayons is going to be difficult because they are really tiny to hold so I'll maybe make another small item for it but I'll use these color pencils It would have been really nice to do this in um, oil pastels, but I wanted to you to see how you can handle a big object with color pencils. So there's no brown in this, interestingly. So I'm going to use mixed media. I'm going to use the brown from our wax crayons on this. But it's not bad. This is interesting, in fact. Let's use the red from the wax crayons. It is very hard for me to hold them, but it's not bad. It's okay. We need also some black. wax crayons if you make like any mistake just go over it it'll not go away but at least like you know you get you can salvage it a little bit it softens okay so we've used um, all of these and now time to use our sketch pen <laughs> it's a funny brush that I've tried creating there. These are our grapes. I really like the final effect. I think it looks quite good. So with wax crayons, it will get very really hard for you to use the um, sketch pens right next to it even with the oil pastels so my suggestion is whenever you're using oil pastels and crayons just do the outline beforehand itself not at the end like me 
it will be a little hard to do that. It's not necessary to do an outline. I just wanted to show you how you can utilize all of the art supplies here. A little bit of a shadow. So here's the artwork with um, using all of the supplies inside this really fun Dom's painting kit. And I hope you had a great time today with me learning a lot of new things and understanding whether this works for you. If you are an enthusiast uh, or in terms of art, in terms of painting, please go ahead and get this kit. If you're looking for return gift items for your kids' parties or something to get your kid interested in, then this is a perfect set to start off with. It is a very cheap and handy one. Um, and the quality of the art supplies is very good, which is why I recommend it. So... I hope this was fun for you and I will see you soon for the next one. Bye-bye.